Good morning. Jesus is Lord. Thank God the word works. I've been ministering and sharing with you about the power of confession and how to receive every promise that Jesus has purchased for you. You know, in the book of Hebrews, he says that we are not to be slothful. That means don't be lazy, but followers of them who through faith and patience, that's consistency, inherited the promises. And then in Romans 10:10, 10, 10, he tells us, for with the heart man believes unto righteousness, but with the mouth, with the mouth, listen to that, with the mouth, your confession is made unto your, unto your salvation. So we're going to look at some examples of people's confession and what God did as a result of their confession because God is no respecter of persons. And he shows us, that's what one of the things that is so wonderful about the Bible is you see what, I don't like to look at just what God did for other people, but what did they do that caused God to do things for them? So we're going to look at Moses in Exodus chapter 14, verse 13. It says, And Moses said unto the people, and this was when they came up to the Red Sea, and the uh, army was, Pharaoh's army was coming behind them. So they couldn't go to the right, they couldn't go to the left. The sea was in front of them. And listen to what Moses declared with his mouth. Fear ye not, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will show to you today. For the Egyptians, which you have seen today, you shall see them no more forever. The Lord will fight for you, and you shall hold your peace. And right after that, the Lord said to Moses, now, in the King James, this is what it says, why cry unto me? But Moses, actually that word cry, I looked it up, and it also means proclaim. And I looked up the word wherefore, and so it could be easily, and I think this is the proper uh, way it should be read is that which you proclaimed unto me because that word cry is not like he was went into his tent and was boohooing no Moses was declaring with his mouth what God was going to do for them based on God's word that he had already told them what he was going to do for them you know your confession should be what the word of God says so he says that which you proclaimed unto me say to the children of Israel go forward and then God gave him specific instructions after he made that declaration with his mouth then the next example that I have would be Caleb and jo Joshua in the book of Numbers 13, verses 30 and 31. Remember, they chose 12 spies to go into the promised land, and he wasn't saying to see if we could take it. He told them to go in to see where all of these um, people were that God had told them. See, God had told them, and this is why it's so important that you see what did God say because God said now these people and he told them who it was he said they are stronger than you but that's okay don't be afraid because I am going to deliver them into your hand so they should have thought well it doesn't matter how big they are because God said he would deliver them into our hand so the spies came back and ten of the spies started talking about the giants in the land and then Caleb stilled the people. And this, listen to what Caleb said. He said, let us go up at once and possess it, for we are well able to overcome it. Well able to overcome it. Well able. Then the other 10 spies said, we be not able to overcome it. And then they caused the rest of the millions of Israelites to be afraid, the other 10 spies. So God said to them, as you have spoken in my ears, so will I do to you. This is the way God operates. That's the way he's operated from Genesis through Revelation. As you have spoken in my ears, so will I do to you. So Caleb and Joshua got their confession 
and the other 10 spies and the rest of the Israelites got what they said. They died in the wilderness. Why did they die? Because God only wanted Joshua and Caleb to go in? No. God said, I had to alter my purpose for you. So the reason he had to alter his purpose was because of what they said. So only two of that generation went in because they said, we are well able. Well, we say we are well able to possess the promises. I'll pick up on this tomorrow. Remember, Jesus is Lord. Have a great day. The Word Works.